second part of San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. I did obviously the first part, that sort of thing I do with every game where I sort of jump in. I don't know exactly all the time what I'm doing. Um, now I've been playing it for a little bit, and I still don't know what I'm doing because this game's fucking hard, man. This game is hard. I have, I mean, just to give myself a little bit of a chance, like I've set it to the very easy setting, but the thing is it's more punishing just for you if you make any mistake whatsoever than it does to the, um, the, the computers, the AI. The AI is infallible. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to be able to play enough and still be able to have, you know, the energy to get through this full circuit mode that they have here, because here's how the circuit mode works. The circuit mode is 24 races, because there's six tracks, each track has its regular mode. So for example, uh, track two has the regular mode, the mirrored mode, the backwards mode, where you just race the same, the same exact thing, but it's in reverse and backwards and mirror. So there's six tracks, race the, you race them each four times with each different uh, style of the track. And that's what a circuit mode is. And they do it completely random, so it's not like you do track one and then do it a bunch of times. They do it completely random, so I've raced like track six. I've still never raced track, I think, three or four. It's just, it's crazy how they do it and really, step up for the investment and so I've done six races on this circuit so far I'm driving my lovely GW bus. Um, one thing that bugs me about the, the car selection, um, you have the eight cars, um, two beginner cars, two, here, okay, yeah. two beginner cars, two uh, intermediate cars, two advanced cars, two extreme cars. Um, they're all completely different types of car, and you can't change any of the designs that are on it, you can only change the color. So I'd love to be driving a VW bus, Jesus Christ, I'd love to be driving a VW bus, um, with sort of like a, not a whole lot of these white, you know, designs on it or anything like that, I'd like that it's with the VW bus. The ones with the double stripes, the double racing stripes in the middle, you can't change that. It's a little bit of a bummer to me. Um, but small complaint, at least you can change the, um, the colors and then we get rid of them. One thing I've noticed, uh, you notice a lot of cars right now, and, and the wall especially. Um, the, there's actually a pretty decent, like, um, like, sort of making this little, uh, noticeable on your car, like the damage to your car before you crash, of course. Um, it's not bad. Um, I think in 1996 when this came out, 1997, um, I think that was pretty, uh, pretty new and pretty cool to get a game like this, so I, I give credit for that. Um, because at no point do I really think this game looks bad, it actually looks really nice. Um, like I said, the, the collisions and stuff, the, the damage to the car is cool. And, you know, not something that you can around this time. Um, but also, like, the environment, because, like, obviously they're going for San Francisco. And that's something. It's the mirrored one, so I don't know where shit is. There's like, there's one shortcut I know where it is, and I haven't taken it because I kind of go to look for it. I don't do it. But whatever, I'll get to that so we'll talk about discussion a little bit later. Um, and so like I said, of course this is San Francisco. I mean, it's supposed to look like San Francisco. I, uh, if you ever look at the manual, I looked at the manual, we had a copy of it. Box copy of it. And I'm just like, alright, are there anything in here that I need to look, that I need to know about, what looks like something I'm not doing? Um, and they did have full maps for each of the six tracks that the first three of which, of course, are, are new for the N64 version, which is a big plus. Something I think is a really uh, good show, basically. Um, everyone always laughs about the first USA and have a black for the N64 player, but it's still so good. It is what it is, you know. Um, this has more tracks, and even if he has one, the doesn't have all of the tracks. Oh shit! Um, little 
side note, if you crash, the first thing you want to do is hit up C and, you know, it'll get you on track as soon as it possibly can. Um, and basically, I, I mentioned before how it, like, the game does, it's not that the game doesn't punish you, the game basically estimates where you would have been had you not completely fucked up right there, and it just sends you right back to that point. And you do have to bring yourself back up to speed. So, it's not the worst thing you can do, it's not, it's not super nice, but I, I think it's a decent way to do it. Um, but the maps that are in the, the manual, um, because it's San Francisco and everything, there it is, right here. This is not a bad choice. Unless you do something like that. Um, the maps have all the uh, streets. Not all the streets, but like all the, the important streets and important landmarks of where where they are, and like so sort of where it is in San Francisco. I think that's really cool. You know, obviously you don't need anybody to tell you that the first track is perfect. You don't need that, but it points out like Market Street, and it points out um, all these other kinds of things that uh, you, you can kind of keep an eye out for in the game. And it's not going to be like a picture perfect rendition of it, but I think it's cool if that's. They, they really went for it with designing this around San Francisco. So, again, graphically, I give them credit for that, and for kind of like not. Not cheaping out on the sort of like San Francisco aspect of the game. Like you can you can say, oh well we put the Golden Gate Bridge in and we put Market Street in these things and people know oh, about San Francisco. Uh, so so what? Uh, but they actually did put in a, a decent amount of effort there. So probably that. So I'm taking at least fourth in this race. Second? Holy shit! Wow, this is by far the best race I've had so far in this, like, in this whole game. Playing it myself on, on the stream. Second place, that was easily my best. Mean? Notice, uh, now that I've said that, notice that I basically didn't take any shortcuts. And that's one thing that I really, really wanted to get to when I was talking about this game. I mentioned how important it is that there are shortcuts. There's all these different things to find and everything. There's a lot of shit to find. It's, Great, that's really cool. The shortcuts are not the most helpful thing in the world. As a matter of fact, a lot of the shortcuts aren't helpful at all. Um, if anything, you need to know, you don't just need to know where shortcuts are and, you know, you enjoy yourself if you go and take them because it's little detours, cool scenery and stuff to look at. But being good at the game is more about knowing which shortcuts you do not take and don't waste your fucking time on it. Because, holy hell, one of my biggest hurdles was the fact that I would take a shortcut, and even if I executed it properly, I would not do it correctly. I mean, I would not I would not find myself doing it with any advantage. A lot of the times, you do try to take a shortcut, and you don't do it correctly. And that accounts for itself. Like, well, a shortcut's not helpful if you flip over and crash. Yeah, I get that, but... You shouldn't... Be me personally, I'll say there shouldn't be about a 50-50 rate of if you do this shortcut and still do it correctly, you won't actually help yourself. I think that's a little bit push. Midway would get a lot better at that. Um, with a, you know, they had every fucking chance to get better at that, given that they put out about three dozen racing games on the 64. Most of them are arcade ports. But you know, this is that's one thing in this game where I actually. A little bit frustrated with it that you have to figure that out for yourself and realize hey there's six shortcuts on every track maybe one of them's useful there's one track that i've been hearing about uh, i think it's track three and chinatown is a shortcut for chinatown that one's really helped us take that one every single time that one that was track two that we were just on uh that goes through the tunnel uh that's that's definitely a helpful one um just don't fuck it up um, but also, you don't have to take that one every time either, I mean, uh, I think it added like, what, it took like a second or two off of my lap time? It wasn't that, it wasn't that great. 
but uh, you know, it can be helpful. Um, but there's another one that is the coolest looking shortcut that I found in this game. Um, I'll point it out next time because I'm sure that there's at least one or two more that you have to race that car. Um, the ramp located behind a semi truck and it takes you across all the rooftops and everything. I probably did that shortcut four times. Not once did it actually seem like it helped me and believe me, I did it correctly. So, I mean, I'm not really too concerned with the outcome of this race, so I'll do it for you and, and show you that it doesn't really do anything for you. Um, this one here is track one, and I... The thing is, because because I'm on the mirrored ones right now, and like I said, with track two was mirrored that we just did, um, I was kind of like, had my eye out for the shortcuts, but I didn't. It's tough to, to remember exactly where they are when you're looking for them on the opposite side of the road. Um, but there's one that's that's fairly fairly decent, um, but you know it's not vital. And because this is track one, I'm also you know the thing about the thing about track one is that all the oh fuck you. The reason track one and two are easier than track three and four is because. Um, most of the curves are gentler and stuff like that, so I don't have to throw on the brakes and make this... There it is, right there. Uh, don't fuck this up, don't fuck that This one right here. Oh, but that wasn't it. I think I did that on the other stream when I was doing that, that particular shortcut. That one's, that one's okay. It's not It's not amazing. Um, I also kind of screwed myself up for the plates for the first. I'm probably going to finish it quick, but again. Oh, also, another thing about this game that really pisses you off sometimes is, is the, the, like, basically, flight mechanics. When you, when you go over inclines, and it puts you up in the air, that... What's your name? Ah. Here's this fucking music. The thing about this music... Yes, Mike, Mike is here confirming that, yes, I did do that on the other stream, and I did crash the same exact way. Um... That music, the fucking uh, name entering music, uh, was used on the last episode of Botchamania. And I was just, I watched it, I think, yesterday morning. And I went, I was like, holy shit, it's the same fucking music that you'll never ever forget for the rest of your life now that you've seen it. Heard it. Um, this track, as I said, it was track four. Um,. I don't know if I've raced on this one yet. I think track three, I'm pretty sure I have not raced on track two. But track four. This, was. this is yeah, this doesn't look all that familiar. And it's yeah, those two uh those two loops don't look familiar to me at all. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, and so it is on, uh, tracks like this that you'll realize the major, major, major shortcoming of this game, which is, um, turning in any fucking car is next to impossible. That's why, um, like I pointed out on track one, the reason that you can actually do track one and, and it's not a, it's not a complete mindfuck is because the curves are gentle. You don't have to spend any of this time really, really fighting the car. Um, trying to turn. I don't think that's the most unrealistic thing in the world. I, I think there's a little bit of le legitimacy to that. But I'm playing an arcade racing game and I'd really just prefer to be able to turn when I feel like turning. Not have to deal with this bullshit. There's a ramp. Let's see if it's helpful. I like when the, when the shortcuts have big uh, yellow signs that point, point them out your eye catches it on your way up there and you don't have any problem trying to nail it. Wow, I'm so far behind. This is this is what this game does to you, by the way. It's like if you make a mistake that puts you behind, you've got no fucking chance of getting back. It's it's ridiculous, honestly. Look how far ahead everybody is of me. And I think I mentioned it once or twice, you know, when I was still kind of new to the game, um, playing it on the first stream, but 
when you try, like, you can't even over overtake people when you're, like, you know, when you're on a straightaway with them. It doesn't matter if you're even in the fastest car, it's like, it's next to impossible, so. You know, if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to make these turns, like, you even get to, you even get to this point, you notice you're a little bit closer, you've gained a little bit more ground on them, uh, than you, than you were doing so, like, 30 seconds ago. Um, but then you realize they've they've had to deal with those turns, and you haven't done it yet. So you're just gonna lose time back on them when you have to deal with the same turns they just got through. Especially when it's those right angle turns and shit like that. Let's hit this ramp because that ramp, even if it's not the most helpful thing it does lead you on basically a straightaway like this right here so i'm definitely oh fuck yeah anyway wow i'm going to get kicked out of this race basically and yeah that like i said that's another thing like if you get to this point where i'm at right here of crossing the, like, reaching the checkpoints when you're at one or basically zero on your uh, race timer, you'll probably be done by the next uh, next checkpoint you get to. One, zero, because it's kind of set up that way that you're, you're, oh my god, really? I did not think I would actually make that. I think because it's an arcade game, you know, and they didn't really change this or balance this at all, it's almost set up in a way that like yeah yeah you won't make it to the next one if you're already if you're already flailing like I am. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I'm playing with fire right here. And it wouldn't even I mean it's not the end of the world if I if I get booted out of this race because I'm gonna I'm gonna finish in last anyway. I mean all it is at this point is a point of pride, which I have none. So like, did you actually finish the race legit, or did you just get booted? Hey, I'm not even gonna make- Oh shit, what's that? Not for me. Get it! Roll through! I was, at one, I was doing one race uh, on track 5, which has a lot of really, really steep inclines. And it fucks you up really bad, because you get into the air, and if you're even a little bit off when you take off, you start like- Wobbling him all around in the air and you fuck up on him. Yeah. I see, just start blowing on the screen, yeah. Um, oh, track five backwards, yeah, this will be my favorite. But, uh, like I said, you can see where these have, have this really steep inclines. Um, I was doing one, and the checkpoint, I think it might actually be. Because this is the this is backwards, so it would be the opposite way. Um, coming down these inclines, and it hit on zero, but it doesn't stop the game until your car stops moving. But the car had been on the incline; it was just rolling down the hill. So I actually hit that checkpoint uh, and got time put back on my clock. But it was yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Holy shit! Um, I got time put back on the clock, but it had still been like ticking down, so instead of getting 25 seconds put back on the clock, it was like, oh, well, I already used up to 20 seconds, so I put like 5 seconds back, so it didn't really help, it was just funny to see it, um, like, not stop the race because the car was technically still moving, and then trigger the checkpoint. Just the way that, just the way that the game handled it was so weird. Uh, let's see, can I do this? Can I do some of this shit? Nope! Basically, the way they have it set up is you're supposed to go around on this little square that they have in the bottom corner. Um, but if you're doing it backwards like that, uh, you can... You basically can go through... Uh, basically through, through the middle um, as you go down. But then you have to get off to the side to avoid crashing into the 
jumble of buildings that are right in front of you at that point. So, I just do it for shits and giggles because I'm just going to be like, fine, just reset me, I don't care. That's not a shortcut. This is a shortcut for the corners. Yeah, it's just a bunch of parking lots that you cut corners across. There's really nothing special about um, any... I, don't, I wouldn't call these shortcuts. And uh, that's, that's my new approach for the right angle turns, is basically whipping... You use a C down, it's like, like the E-brake. Uh, and basically just whip myself 90 degrees to my right or left and hope that the car doesn't flip over. Because that's one aspect of the physics that it doesn't necessarily have. If you try to do that with real car, you'd be fucking dead. But yeah, like that. Not like the cars don't flip over, but just that way particularly, it, it doesn't punish you that hard. Oh, oh shit. Bad, bad time. There we go. We're okay. Eh. Eh. Yeah. All right. And you could see those other two burning, burning wrecks from uh, fools that had come before me and did not make it that time. There's a lot of little turns. There's a lot of I won't say little turns, big turns like that, that uh, basically change up the race for anybody involved right away. Oh, and the reason it put me in first because it does this weird thing uh, when it's respawning cars, um, and the cars are sort of at that like flashy. And see, that was a successful uh, example of it. I don't know if I really saved that much time, but I definitely saved a little bit by not having to go on that first right angle turn. Um, when the cars are being respawned. Uh, and they're flashing, they're technically not involved in the race, so anybody ahead of them, or anybody that they're ahead of, uh, will have a read as though they're actually several spaces ahead. That's why it showed that I was in first place, even though I was actually going to be in third place, because there was no way that I would have caught up to them by or anything like that. Is this a shortcut, or is this me doing something stupid? It was the latter. Let's go around this way and see if this changes anything. Because some of these cars seem to be doing that. That was probably the worst possible route to take through this little uh, jumble of turns. Somebody's going to catch up to me. I'm not even going to be in third anymore. Because there's no way I'm going to be in second or first place by the end of this. Oh, and there's still one more full lap to go? God damn it. I'm gonna fuck this up somehow. Down the straight and narrow, bud. Just hug those turns, get them started as early as you possibly can, because you're gonna be completely fucked. Oh, good lord. No. Oh, no. No. No fiery death crash, but you just know something bad is going to come out of that. It, that actually could be a lot worse, I guess. Well, not a lot worse. It could be worse. But since they just jumped me ahead, I still need to pick up the pick up the rest of my speed, I guess. But not the worst, but not the best thing that happened. Let's see if I can do this again. Go this way. And oh god. I'm alright. Yikes. I wish I could see my front end just to see how fucked it is. Oh, I'm getting yep, I'm getting overtaken. This won't end well. Because I'm on my I'm I'm getting to the toughest part as well. Which is this the jumble. That's all I can really call it. Hey, what's this? Ooh, that seems like a helpful shortcut. Is it? Let's find out. Hey! Nice! Nice! That was a good one. And I didn't even I didn't even have to look that I I didn't look it up or anything like that. I literally 
almost fucked up my turn. And like that, just like that. You brought me all the way over here? What the fuck is that about? Nope. Nope. Yeah. Suck a dick. Suck a dick. You right there. I did not think I would come back to third. What's your name? What's your name? I already told you, man. That's the, that's the thing. I already told my name, Andrew. So, goddamn. Four, 14 races to go. Uh, in case it wasn't clear as to what I was doing, um, I'm trying to, to get through the rest of the races in this circuit. That's my plan. Um, there's a lot of shit to do in this game. It's a, it's a weird kind of racing game because it is a racing game based on rewarding of your exploration. Like, there are, to, to truly complete this game, um, or, or at least get the sense that you've completed it, you have to, um, what you have to do is basically get, um, the feeling, first of all, that you found every shortcut and know with, know with, like, the tracks, like, the back of your hand. That's one thing. Oh, and here's the, uh, I will show you. Is this backwards? Right, this is backwards. I think I already missed it. Oh no, if it's backwards. I got quieter than why. Hold on. Like just telling me like my mic got really quiet. I don't know why. Is that better? Huh. Um, since this is backwards, I actually can't take that shortcut because the ball's coming up on a semi uh, with a ramp behind it in a certain direction. Apparently no. Oh, did my... My, um... My camera's not on. Um, you know what? This is a good time then to take a break. Make sure I know what's going on. And therefore I can chop up my videos like this. Not have a hour and a half stream, 90 minute stream, you know? So... I will be right back for the second part, and this is exactly where we're going to cut it off so I can figure out the mic issue. All right. Cool. Check right back.